Hello and welcome to my channel Being You Now. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So if you have Aries placements, this reading is for you. If this reading doesn't resonate, please head over to the videos tab. There might be another reading that is more suitable for your individual circumstance. Please remember that time and energy are fluid and place the gender roles where they belong. Okay, I will be finishing off this reading with um, Angel Answers as well as Manifestation Cards. So do stay till the end. If you are new to my world, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do Aries readings daily. I also do one minute reads which are in the short section of my channel. Look at how many cards want to come out. I've pre-shuffled this. And um, there's always something fun and fabulous happening in the Communities tab. I'm feeling a sense of real calm, peaceful, blissful energy. So um, yeah, let me know. Let me know how you're feeling. And uh, we do have the full moon coming up, which is on the 27th of November here in Australia. Um, so it depends where you are, depending on where you are in the world. Um, the time might be different. The date might be different. I follow all the Australian time zones. So if you'd like to be part of that. Full moon ritual the information is in the communities tab or you can comment below it is going to be super powerful because we are talking about rebirthing transformation rise from the ashes it's about um really claiming who you are in this very moment your the version of you that you know to be true that's what we will be focusing on in the full moon ritual so if that's of interest it is a registered event you have to register to take part in it all right so let's see what we have for Aries overall energy and how are you all feeling I'm really feeling this sense this wave of calmness um, and just balance so that's the overall energy oh interesting we start off in your overall energy with the Celtic cross is the seven of swords so I need more information what this is about but the first message that spirit gave to me with the seven of swords was strategy so I feel like, um, okay, so more messages are coming through as I was think, looking at the card and meditating into it. Spirit is giving me this message about strategy, about keeping things close, keeping your cards close to your chest areas. And maybe this is why you feel this wave of calm and peace that was the energy I picked up as I was tuning in, meditating and starting your reading. So I've, what I'm picking up here is that at the moment you are guarding. You're guarding and keeping your cards very close to your chest. You're not sharing everything that you're doing. Maybe say, for example, you're looking for jobs. Um, you know, So of course you won't be telling your current employer, hey, I'm looking for a job. Um, unless of course you've already resigned and then they know that but this is this is that vibe of you know when you're looking for other jobs and opportunities you're not telling you're not jeopardizing your current situation it's that kind of thing same thing in a relationship if you you are it's almost like you're taking that time out to really figure out what is the right way for you to do say for example if you have options in love um, you're keeping your cards closed you know you might not you might be you are still deciding and whilst you're deciding you're not telling both people that uh, you know this is this is when you're not committed to either of them but hey take whatever resonates but this is the kind of vibe i'm picking up in your overall energy so let's see what's your challenge the emperor so your challenge at the moment is you aries it's about you coming into your power so the biggest challenge at the moment for you aries is about what makes you feel like that emperor that you are em emperor is your energy so I feel with this at the moment, a lot of you want to become, yeah, as I started your reading, I said, become the version of you that you know to be true. So maybe this is for somebody who needs to do the full moon ritual. It's about claiming it in the now, claiming that boss, boss leader, stable, secure vibe that the emperor is. Like he is unshakable, unbreakable, unstoppable. And that is the energy of the emperor. And that's, he's the king of the kings. He just didn't become the emperor. He he had to conquer, you know, all, if you think about it, you know, it's almost like mastering all the other suits with the cups, with the swords, with the wands, with the um, pentacles. It's bringing all those, it's embodying all that energy and then some to be the emperor. And that's what your current challenge is that maybe it is in one area of your life or maybe it is in multiple areas of your life, but I'm really feeling that you currently want stability and security in your life now stability and security could be financial could be emotional could be mental 
could be physical, could be in terms of how you feel just from, you know, your safety perspective. It could also be safety, feeling that sense of protection, feeling that sense of safety, depending on what you have been through in your life, you know. But the, uh, the Emperor card can also mean that, you know, you want that solid foundation. You want things to feel, you don't want to feel this wibble wobble type of energy. What you really want is that stable, grounded energy that makes you feel like, yep, things are built on solid foundations and I've got this. I really have got this. I actually like the emperor in your challenge situation. Why? Because it is your energy and you know who you, you know. So at the end of the day, if you see strip it all away, you always know who you are, Aries. And that's kind of that whole, you know, you already know who you are. And it's about stepping back into it. But this this whole reading, we'll see what is unfolding. But this to me is saying that it's about that reminder. This is what you, you need. It's almost like the remembrance of who the emperor is. Maybe things have happened and shaken you. Maybe you have the word shaken to your core. For somebody, you've been through like a major tower moment. That's what I've been shown. So I'm going to share that very specific. It's almost like a personal reading. May not be for everybody. Take what resonates, okay? So that's what I'm picking up with the Emperor vibe. So let's see. What's happening? Yeah, so a lot of you are in this planning and preparation, which is exactly you. That's what you're doing. You have options. With the two of wands, somebody here definitely has options. You might also be thinking about traveling. With the world, I'm picking up travel. Um, I'm also picking up in relationship, two options. Job, two options. Oh, why is that in reverse? Um, that's how I'm meant to put it out to you. But this is what I mean. You've got options, and that's why you're keeping your cards close to your chest. Maybe you've got two different job offers, and you're wondering which one will be better for me. You know, maybe one is better financially, but another one is better for you in terms of, you know, a step up. And that's what's going to bring you back to your emperor energy. Same thing in love. Maybe one one is where you have a lot of fun. There is a lot of passion, but then um, it's lacking the deep emotional connection. Maybe the other option you have is more deeply connected and you are torn, which, which one, you know, which one is the one for you if you want long-term stability security, because, hey, emperor, that, he's not there for the short term. He's there to build something solid. So what's happening unconsciously? Yeah, a lot of you, this is a wish fulfillment. So at a, at the deep emotional level, that's what you want. You want your you want to have your cake and eat it. You want to have your cake and eat it as well. So this is where you want everything. You want the love, you want the security, you want the stability, you want the money, you want the recognition, you want the promotion. So this is about having it all and feeling that you still have your sense of personal power. And this is why it's in your challenge. Maybe for some of you, in some of these other options, you feel that you are not the emperor. Maybe you are the king, but what you really want is to be the emperor. And I love this energy because this is wish fulfillment and your energy right here, Aries. So this is what you ultimately desire. It, in, in, in the depths, of, in that secret corner of your soul where, you know, secretly and that's probably why the seven of swords is your overall energy because deep down there's you have desires you have you have passions you have this fire that's burning that's birthing that wants all these different things and you feel like at the moment you can't true fully unleash because maybe you don't have all the information maybe you're still preparing planning gathering information getting clarity before you make your move and it's it's the wise thing to do if I'm going this way, I really love this because this is all about your wish fulfillment and your really working strategy. That Seven of Swords is all about strategy. What's the best move for me to make in this moment in time, given the current information that I've got in front of me? And as more and more information is revealed, that will make it clearer and clearer in terms of which way to go. Now, in your recent past, there you go. Brand new beginning. Brand new beginning, whether it's love, career, money, finances, you let me know in comments. In your recent past, you've had a brand be brand new beginning. If you haven't, it's coming. But this is in your recent past position. And for some of you, this could be a brand new idea. Maybe you are getting inspired. You're getting a spark of creativity about a brand new idea. And all of a sudden, you find yourself that it's creating excitement. You're trying to work out, well, how, you're strategizing. How do I make this idea work? Can I make it work? What do I need to make it work? Whether it's in job, career, money, finance. You, you take what resonates and apply it for your um, your circumstance. But I'm loving where this storyline is going. 
so in in what's coming up for you is the hermit so a lot of uh, this is this is actually really really powerful and really good i love that you've got another major arcana that's showing up in if i go this way with the emperor card and then you've got the hermit so what this is saying to me is that with this new idea inspiration maybe some of you if you if you're not sure what spirit is saying is this is virgo energy by the way so you may have virgo placements or you might be dealing with a virgo but this here is saying that this is about where 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 can you sh where can you shine your light the brightest that's what spirit is saying where can you shine where will you be in this situation whatever it is whether it's love whether it's money whether it's a job where will you be able to shine the brightest so let me explain so say for example i'll you go back to that job example where you know in one you get more money and the other you you it's a step up maybe the money is the same or you know same as what you're on at the moment but from a title perspective it's a step up and it will be more responsibility um it's almost like a promotion in a new job so you are you are asking yourself well if my current job i already know that the devil i know is better than the devil i don't you kind of you you kind of tossing between the two so what with the hermit card it's almost like do your pro pros and cons list what is you know what have you got to lose absolutely nothing because you're already in your current job um and doing a pros and cons list will help you to get that clarity so it's almost like i'm picking up this energy that somebody needs to pick up the pen and put the pen to paper and that's how you're going to get that clarity so it's it's about that strategy it's about planning your next move and in order to do that you want to make sure that however you go you know say you know this job you have been applying for jobs and now after six months you found all these options and at the same time your employer is like hey aries you're doing such a great job we're going to give you a bonus or a you know uh, more money or this will be your sal salary we have recognized your contribution and we are increasing your salary it could be that kind of thing um and at the same time you found this job that ticks all the other boxes but the money is not the money i'm not saying that that's exactly the situation but with the hermit card it's about weighing the pros and cons i'm just using a an example that a lot of people can easily associate and apply to whether it's love whether it's money whether it's career whatever the case may be for others of you this could be your creative venture and passion and you you probably asking yourself you know you're strategizing oh will that be you know i'm already in a nine to five job will i have the time to do this side hustle how much time commitment will it require do i even have the energy so you kind of you know and with the hermit card it's it's almost inviting you to say okay you've got this gift essentially a gift from the universe an idea inspiration a spark a new beginning and is this is this procrastination because again em emperor you aries procrastination you know we are an action oriented sign i'm an aries if you didn't know so it's it's like second nature to act and respond is quicker than to be you know doing the hermit thing but in this situation spirit is saying do the hermit thing because you might just allowing yourself that extra bit of time might bring to to forefront things that will help you in the long run and success long-term success and your wish fulfillment because ultimately don't forget that you've got the wish fulfillment card so as you are if i look at this triangle here so you've got a brand new beginning wish fulfillment and the hermit so what spirit is saying is that with this new idea inspiration spark this is your wish fulfillment go inwards and stop doubting and second guessing yourself i feel like somebody here is doubting themselves and their ability you've got everything you need but maybe you just need to have a better plan and strategy again with the seven of swords and the two of wands this is about planning and preparation so maybe this is a strong message for you that you need to really plan and prepare because you're not going to build a castle on flimsy foundation and that's what this is about you're not going to build your empire you're going to build a solid empire that's going to this is about a lasting legacy for yourself this is big this is really big this is about a wish a major wish fulfillment with the ace of wands nine of um pentacles and the emperor card this is a major wish fulfillment for you aries yeah so internally you are having all these conflicts i mean there's a lot of twos 
this is definitely to me you've got options this left or right up or down this is the kind of vibe you want to do it but you don't you're not sure this is this is all about which way to go am i making you know i feel like somebody here saying am i making a mistake am i being hasty and which is why the hermit is showing up the hermit so this full moon energy work with that full moon energy that's coming up on the 27th for somebody here or just just take time out maybe that's your message at the moment maybe you've been go 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 and as a result you can't think clearly and that's what the hermit does it allows you to carve out a little bit of that time and it doesn't have to be hours and hours and days and days or weeks it you know you might just need to block out good solid 15 minutes or 30 minutes and in that time you know just switching off all the distractions and aha the penny drops that's what I'm feeling for somebody. So it doesn't have to. Sometimes we think that, oh, you know, taking time out. How long is that going to take out of my day? And I've got all these things to do. Think about how productive you will be because of the clarity you, you will get. And that's what Spirit is saying here. It's quite clear, really. Yeah, others see you as victory and success. So in people around you, they see Aries as someone who's highly successful, highly victorious go a go-getter this is this is how they see you as a go-getter as a leader as a change maker as a visionary as someone who is who has their head on their shoulders and knows where they're going so even though you've got all these two of you know swords energy and two of wands and you've got here people on the outside they are not seeing this these conflicts and inner turmoil or questions that you've got people see you as aries is strong visionary knows where they're going and they they look up to you that's how they see you they actually look up to you look at how how loud and proud this this is so again this is very this is very much that fire energy they see you as that so in your hopes and fears let's see yeah i mean is is this has is this a joke <laughs> you know it's not but i mean the message is the message is the message and spirit is like Aries, you got options in life. You've got options in life. And for you to know which way to go, I mean, universe, you are not short on options. You're not sure, short on options. Your hopes and fears is will you be able to juggle it all? For so somebody here, you are thinking about starting, the first thing that Spirit gave me, starting another business, a creative venture. I mean, this could be an idea and inspiration and you could be building a new legacy. With the pentacles as well, this is about, you know, more income but this is also about something physical so it could be you know juggling time and energy juggling your resources this could also be that and you're wondering whether you'll have say for example if you are studying something like a youtube channel etsy store i don't know whatever you're doing knitting right and you're like will i will i have time to do that and my job you know yes i'm really excited and passionate about will i have enough time to commit to it Will I have enough energy? Will I have enough resources? What do I need to start? You know, and this is the kind of, but this is all in your mind. Um, because again, Seven of Swords is all about mental energy. So there is a fine line here, which is exactly what this card is, this fine line here, right? He's, he's on that tight rope. So this is about this fine line of whether you give in to fear and doubt or whether you do it anyway. So this is where that question becomes, this question becomes even more important, which is, do you want to continue to keep wondering what this ever will be, or you just won't go for it? So I'll use this as an example, which is a real example. I have been wanting to start this channel since 2020, and I didn't get my act together <laughs> until 2023. So I essentially, you could say wasted, um, or yeah, literally wasted three years, three years before I eventually went and did the thing. So not only did I wait, did I lose the three year time frame in terms of getting started, having my channel, can you imagine, like, I can't even imagine what it would have been like having my channel for three years now, you know, that would have been so, there was a bit of fluff. So, um, that would have been so amazing, but Every time I'm like, oh, but I've never done a channel. I don't know anything about YouTube. Every time this thing came up and I literally found my journal a few months, quite a few, six months or something ago. And in my 2020 journal, 
um, probably not six months, yeah, six months ago, I think I found my journal from 2020 where I listed on the 1st of January that I'm going to have my own YouTube channel. <laughs> and I didn't start my channel until March 2023. So this is the kind of thing, you know, but all these years I was still thinking, oh, should I, shouldn't I, procrastinating? Will I have time? Will I be able to do it? This and that and all the other. What am I going to say on YouTube? Will people even want to hear for, about me? There's so many other good, you know, channels this, that, and all the things under the sun. And I'm using this as an example because this is a real example. You can apply it to your situation. And now, looking back, the single biggest thing, I'm like, why didn't I just do this sooner? <laughs> right? So this is the kind of vibe here. So what I'm trying to say is that still, even though I didn't do the thing, energetically, I kept spending all this time and energy and brain cells by not doing the thing until I did the thing. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. Anyway, if you're meant to get this, you'll get it. In your outcome, three of pentacles. So for a lot of you, you are wanting to build something. This is for a lot of you to do with your career, to do with money, to do with your legacy, to do with your craft. Because three of pentacles is not just about um, working, but it is about finessing. It's about adding that final touch. It's that final paint. You know, I like to use the example of the artist. It's that final paint, paintbrush stroke. I don't know the technical term, whatever it is. But it's that one thing that makes the painting, which can make it into like mega millions. That final brush or final stroke that makes it into a Picasso. Picasso, your version of Picasso, right? And this is what that Three of Pentacles is about. It's about, look at how closely he's looking at those pentacles. It's like, it's like you know, you're working on that gem, that diamond, and you're making sure that the facets are all to perfection and they're all sparkly and that it adds to the uniqueness of this beautiful sparkly gem that it is. And it is created and it's your creation so this is this is about you building your legacy this is about you building your empire this is what this whole reading is about and in your challenge is the emperor because you want to build the empire but at the same time you're not sure if you'll have it and with the three of pentacles you'll have it you'll have it but with the three of pentacles the other thing is you can have it by also asking for help so maybe maybe to make to get the sparkles and the facets and the carrots and the clarity right using diamonds aries birthstone um you want to get the clarity cut facets all the things you know right to give that diamond the sparkles that it deserves and it has within it it's like unleashing it but at the same time you may be like, okay, well, I don't have the right equipment. So where can you get the right equipment? I don't know the new new technology that laser cuts these things that will give it more shine. Well, maybe you need to ask somebody who knows how to do it or learn how to do it. And that's that three of pentacles vibe. And this is why the seven of swords is your starting energy. Maybe you don't have all the information. Maybe you're still working out your strategy. This is why you're having those cards close to your chest. What... What in a nutshell this is saying to me, Aries, keep your ideas. If you are birthing a new idea, keep your ideas and creativity to yourself until such time that you are clear and then unleash it to the world. So it's almost like you are building that new, brand new, I don't know, jewelry store or diamond store, whatever it is. And you're making sure that each and every piece in there is meticulous, is to the highest standard, is to the way you want so that when you open up your store, it's a no brainer and you have this point of difference that people just want. Same thing in the job, same thing in love, same thing in money. It's about that point of difference that you that makes you the emperor and not the king and leads you to your wish fulfillment. I love this reading for you. I did not know where it was going, but it always is going where it's meant to go. All right, so I'm going to pull some manifestation cards. 
um as you know bali oh my goodness thank you to everyone there's so many of you that are interested to go to bali during airy season in april 2024 thank you for all your emails wow there's so much interest so many people want to come to bali this is so amazing i only have four spots so there are some requirements that i need i'm more than happy to share the information for those that are called I, it is the reason why i need the information is because it's an intimate group there's only four spots available so there will be only five of us and you get to hang out with me for a week so this is that is why it's important to make sure that you know we're all aligned and um yeah so i am loving getting all your emails all oh my goodness connecting with all of you you've said such beautiful things and thank you thank you for appreciating and loving my channel so much i truly appreciate it, it means the world to me so if you want to get information on bali book a personal reading donate to my channel or connect with me on other social media outlets all the information is in the description box um but bali please email me so if bali is calling you please email me for information um and same thing with personal readings all right so the first card i have is love i have a partner who can communicate well maybe communication is what's required what's going on both cards on love i have a partner who shares my desired frequency for sex and intimacy ooh, ooh, ooh la la aries ooh la la all right so now i have the angel answers deck i don't use usually use this deck but today spirit was like yeah we bring it out and we so if you have a question a yes no question i want you to think about your question and just meditate on it we had a flipper anything else this one wants to come out so um if you had a question i want you to think about it inhale exhale inhale once again and exhale it all out so the first card we have is there is something better so i would say that's a no so if you had a yes no question um this is saying there is something better and then the second card i have is opportunity so maybe there's something there's a better opportunity that's how i see it <laughs> there is a better opportunity um so hey maybe you asked the question about the two options you've got and maybe the option you asked about is not the option maybe that was your answer Ooh, let me know in comments if that's what it was aries thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here truly 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 without your love support kindness likes comments shares and all things i would not be here my my channel has taken a major be beating beating however whatever um with all the changes that youtube has made the algorithms have absolutely been stuffed up so i would truly appreciate it if you could like share subscribe hit that notification bell it would mean an absolute world to me but most of all it helps me to know that you want me to continue doing these daily readings because it is a big commitment and um your like subscribes comments don't cost you anything so thank you for the from the bottom of my heart for being here if you'd like a personal reading come to bali get more info connect with me on social media and all the things all the information is in the description box and remember aries the power that is you by being you now and i will see you next time